Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It is our first day back after staycation slash holiday break. It was much needed. It was much enjoyed. I feel like I really got the most that I could get out of those 10 days, and I'm feeling not exactly like raring to get back to real life because obviously I would much prefer to just continue this staycation lifestyle, but I feel good. It's an extremely gloomy day today, unlike anything we've seen since we've been here. I think it's rained like maybe twice since we moved in six weeks ago. And one of those times was overnight. The other time was a drizzle during the day. But today, the sky looks like it's absolutely just going to come down. So um, that's interesting. We're actually meant to start therapy in less than 10 minutes and my son is still not dressed. I explained to him, we sat on the couch and we had a whole conversation about how, you know, it's been a fun few days and the holidays are always so great. But what makes the holidays special is that they only last a short time. And so they're finished right now and we have to wait a little bit before we get to do them again and in the meantime we have to get back to our regular learning and our regular schedule so that means that today we're playing with her her and her and as soon as i said we're playing with her he goes <laughs> and he just kind of shook his head the rest of the time i was talking but um unfortunately that's that's it that's the schedule like for the time being and for the foreseeable future our only like thing to look forward to is getting on with real life and figuring out what that looks like here because the last three months have been an absolute whirlwind between birthdays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, the move, Christmas, New Year's. Did I mention birthdays? Because there was a lot of them. It's just been one thing after the next after the next and that's what I love about those last like four months of the year but now it's January <laughs> and all there is now is just life and life looks different these days. So that's our big adventure is sorting out what does that mean these days. Meanwhile, I really have to get them dressed because we're about to be late to our first session back. Happy Monday and Happy New Year. <laughs> Hey there friends, happy Tuesday morning. Uh, we made it through our first day back through therapies um, or with therapies, I guess. Pretty much unscathed. Uh, we did have to cut our last hour short by about 15 minutes because my son was not feeling well to his tummy. But otherwise, I expected a lot more pushback from him and he ended up doing great work. He ended up being in a pretty good mood, all things considered. So um, all good things. Today we have two therapies and a meeting scheduled. He does not have to partake in the meeting. So as far as he's concerned, two hours of stuff. And um, hopefully that's okay. <laughs> we had a rough night a little bit. Um, he woke up at five and he didn't get back to sleep until seven. He wasn't upset or anything, but that sort of like punctuated sleep, we're both feeling it today. And this is the COVID diaries, right? Like that was the whole point of starting this vlog almost three years ago, we're entering season three of a 15 day stay at home to, to flatten the curve. And we hit a million cases or over a million cases in the country yesterday, or perhaps the day before, I think it was the day before and they reported it yesterday. Um, over a million cases in one day in the country had not happened at all yet, like nowhere near. So um, we're definitely at peak daily cases right now. People are not taking care of themselves because it's mild cases. So nobody's taking precautions, it seems. Kato has decided to join me here. And um, I've just learned something that I naively had no idea was going on. So my brother-in-law and his partner have both tested positive, which is very scary. They've taken every precaution possible, except that he does work outside the home but his partner has health conditions that make it very dangerous for them to catch COVID, and yet they did. 
um, and they've been sick for a long time. So they live upstate. They were pretty much content to just like assume that they had COVID and not test um, to start with because the testing was really hard to find. And on top of it, it was gonna cost 150 to $200 per person, per test, depending on whether they went to a pharmacy or a clinic or just whoever happened to have testing available. And that absolutely blew my mind. Like they pretty much said, we're gonna wait it out. And then when we feel better, I will pay for a test so that it shows up negative and I can return to work. And <laughs> it's really hard to get tested down here in that you're going to wait four, five, six hours. Um, waiting in your car, online, having to pee in bottles, etc. But you will get tested for free if you if you make those lines. Um, the only reason you'd pay for a test is if you go to a pharmacy because you want to buy your own rapid response tests, if you can find them, um, then you know then the payoff is you didn't have to pay for it, but you also don't have to wait in line for the four, five, six hours. My hair looks nuts and my son is playing maracas across the house. So sorry about all of the above. But um, yeah, so I guess because they're upstate, it's a different county, etc. It's also a much smaller county. Maybe Florida is focusing its efforts here because we've been a hot spot historically since this whole thing began. And if we're testing and isolating, which we're fully not, like they're not encouraging anybody to stay home or wear, well, you have to wear masks in government buildings, but that's basically it. Um, so I don't know if that's what's going on, if they're like, just throw all the free tests at Miami to try to get these people under control and everybody else is kind of on their own. I don't know, but um, basically he ended up going, paying for a test because he felt better thinking, okay, well now I'll pay the $150 so that I can test negative and go back to work. And it turns out that even though he's felt better for a couple days, he's still testing positive. So it definitely is COVID. He's also definitely still positive. And that means he also, he has to definitely pay another $150 to $200 to get tested again so that he can go back to work. Um, so I guess the whole point of this is A, wow, and B, what's testing like where you're at? Because I'm in my little Miami bubble and I was under the impression that everybody could get free testing. It just sucks to have to wait in line, but I guess not because even in my own state, that's not what's going on. So how's, how's the testing happening where you're at? And also, where are you? Let me know in the comments. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> The dryer is going in the background, so I'm sorry about that, but I just wanted to pop in and let you all know that whoever installed these cabinets should be shot. Um, the upper cabinets regularly just stay in your hand, like they come right off and stay in your hand whenever you open them. And my husband is constantly having to re, you know, uh, what's the word, not reapply, but reinstall them, I guess. This big thing. My son and I were in here and we like bumped into each other while it was open and the whole thing just crashed down onto the floor. It missed his toes by like nothing at all. As a matter of fact, my son has a very high pain tolerance. I wouldn't be shocked if it actually grazed him and he just didn't react. But that could have been really, really bad because that's a very heavy door and we literally bumped into it. So, <laughs> yeah, so now my husband has to reinstall this one too. Luckily, once he reinstalls them, they're pretty sturdy, but it's like, is every cabinet in this kitchen gonna have to fall off before we can feel secure that they're not going to fall anymore? Cabinets are like purely decorative because if you try to ask them to function as doors, they just self-combust. That's kind of ridiculous. Wow, I didn't realize how rough I looked until I just saw myself in the camera. Um, good morning, happy Wednesday. Uh, first things first, it is the 5th of January. So 
I want to say happy anniversary to my cousin Mikey and to my honorary cousin Jessica. Today makes three years since they had their beautiful military beach wedding and it was so much fun. I mean, it was a great ceremony, but also it was a great party and uh, the whole family was able to get together for that. I had a vlog for it. It was one of my very early vlogs, but I'll post the link up here in case you guys want to see it. So on to the not great stuff and there's plenty of that. So if you don't want to hear me rant and complain for the next like five minutes, I fully understand. But um, my son woke up yesterday at like five, I think, right? And five or six, I, don't, I think it was like five. I don't remember, but you guys would have just seen that clip anyway. So uh, I figured that meant that last night he was going to go to sleep earlier. He did about a half hour earlier. I expected it to be much earlier than that, but no. Um, so I went to sleep at about 12.30. I usually go to sleep at almost two. So that was nice anyway, but then he woke up at 4.30. 4.30 or four? It really doesn't matter. He woke up far earlier today than he woke up yesterday is the point I'm trying to make. And the thing is, is that when I heard him waking up, he did wake up upset. And I realized like, ugh, I have like my hair is stuck to the back of my neck. Like this is so gross because I was sweating. And that happens regularly here at night. It's like, it's so cold during the day. But then at night when you want it to be cold, at some point in the night, you're gonna wake up sweating. And that sucks because the AC doesn't turn off all night. It just never gets cool enough to where we're comfortable for sleeping. So um, that's annoying, right? So I'm already up, I'm exhausted because I've had two nights now straight of interrupted crap sleep and I'm all hot and gross. So I decide four in the morning is a good time to check on our power and light bill and it turns out that um, the billing period is not even closed. It's going to be, you know, another like four or five days before they officially tell us what we owe. But as it stands right now, we owe twice as much money this month than we paid last month. And it was, that's two full months of living. So it's not like, um, oh, well, it was less last time because you guys moved in the middle of the month. No, that was the bill before that. We're already on our second full billing cycle and it's twice as much money now. And that's very concerning because it's winter, right? This is the time that it's supposed to be at its cheapest because it's cooler outside, so it should take less to cool the house. And yet it's over $300, not cool. Um, so, you know, the AC, like I said, it's working super hard and it's not really doing its job. So that has to be contributing. But then the biggest thing is that our clothes dryer, which is relatively new, I think um, they put it in for the last tenants maybe, so it can't be that old, couple years tops. But that, f a case in point, exhibit A. I put a load of towels to wash yesterday morning. We have towels on the floor of the bathroom constantly because my son makes a huge mess when he bathes. And so I tend to pick up those towels quite frequently and wash them because otherwise they start to smell musty because they're just sitting there on the floor wet and nobody wants that. So I put those towels to wash yesterday morning, set them to dry immediately. I came back when the cycle was done, they were still damp. So I set them to dry again, set them. Uh, I came back with a second time after therapies, whatever, they were still damp. So I set them to dry a third time. And at this point, I'm like, it just escapes my mind because obviously after three cycles of drying, the towels are going to be dry. So it gets to be bedtime. I'm putting everything away. I'm, so I just, oh, let me put the towels away real quick before I forget. I open them at night and they're still freaking wet. So now they smell like ass. I have to throw them back in the wash. So now I'm washing them a second time in the same day. Throw them in the wash. I put them in the dryer. I'm up late because my son's taking ages to fall asleep. So before I go to sleep, I set them to dry a second time. So now in one day, I've had to wash the same towels twice and dry them five times. 
this morning just now i go to take them out of the dryer because i need to wash actual clothes today guess what friends they are still wet so now those towels are costing me six full cycles of drying they're not ready so i'm giving up i'm basically putting them back on the bathroom floor and i'll wash them again some other time because i can't keep washing and drying the same set of stuff over and over but it's not just towels this happens with everything i do laundry every day and every day i have to run the dryer multiple times per load that can't be helping the power bill so it's frustrating because i'm running around in the dark most of the day um, the ac is off all day long we just have the ceiling fans going great now my phone's going off um so it's like i don't know what else i can do to conserve power but if our appliances are crap, our you know, I can't do anything about that. So yeah, whatever. I'm just, like I said, I'm in a bad mood. I'm very tired. I'm sorry for the rant. It was, in effect, five minutes of ranting. So um, yeah, that's how my day is starting. Luckily, today is not hell day anymore. Even though it's Wednesday, we have two therapies scheduled. But my son is not going to be in a great mood. I am not in a great mood at all. And um, I needed to record like myself like intros and outros and like let's look human for the camera today i'm not feeling up to it i don't want to do it so i'm gonna look at my planner and see like what sort of like maybe cleaning things and stuff that i have on the agenda for tomorrow that i can do today instead with the hopes that tonight is better that's what i hoped yesterday and tonight just ended up or last night just ended up being worse but all I can do is hope that tomorrow is better and that I will feel up to recording tomorrow because tomorrow really is my last chance to record these intros and outros so that these videos are ready to go over the weekend. Um, but yeah, man, like I'm, uh, I would love to just cancel everything today and try to nap, but that's not going to happen because I can't nap when I'm by myself in the house with my kid. And I just feel like the day hasn't even started yet and I'm already off on such like the wrong foot that um, I'm trying to stay optimistic, but I can't see how I can turn this day around right now. Happy Wednesday. <laughs>
I just hope that we all sleep better tonight because I have got a lot on my plate for tomorrow. Oh, and I just need the rest. So I hope you guys have had a good week. I'd love for you to let me know um, what you've been up to for the last few days in the comments. And I actually posed a question on my Instagram stories earlier today. So I figured I'd share it here in case you're not following me on Instagram. I had asked because I feel like a lot of people these days have been on TV for one reason or another. So I asked first off, have you been on TV? And most of the answers have been yes. So now I want to know if your answer was yes, if you have been on TV, what was it? Like, were you on a show? Um, were you in a commercial? Was it just that you were at a sporting event and the camera like panned by and saw you? Uh, so I'm curious, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please ignore everybody coming in and out of the room and give the video a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.